So why test cases are important? Um, first of all, it's a major activity for testers. And uh, I would say uh, like 50% of time you will be doing test cases or uh, writing defects. So it's like almost 50-50. So that's why there is a lot of uh, interview questions. They can ask you to write some test case for, uh, for any functionality. Usually it's something simple like login, for example, which we will cover all together. Um, and it's, um, it's, yeah, it's one of the most important parts of software testing as well. Um, in fact, not only testers write test cases, uh, developers actually write test cases, but we never really touch them, but they, they know the stuff. So it's not even for testers, it's for developers as well. They know how to test and how to write test cases. Um, they write test cases for, for their code. So it's white box testing but it's the same kind of idea behind. So again, test cases bring together the whole testing process. So one by one, little by little, uh, we add up all of those test cases and it usually becomes pretty big. So for example, in my previous company, we had almost 1200 test cases, 1200 test cases, 1200 test cases, which is kind of a lot. Even if it takes you to, uh, for execution, it takes you like, I don't know, 10 seconds each, which is some of them are not that fast. Overall, it can take you like hours and sometimes days. And I heard about even weeks sometimes, which is a major activity. So, uh, and they help find new defects, of course. As I mentioned previously, you can actually create a defect from kind of based on the test case because, well, why do we really need test cases for testing and for finding defects, right? For fixing them. So because uh, ad hoc, we found like what, 48 uh, defects? And I bet you there is way more over there. Why we couldn't find them doing ad hoc testing? Because it's random, right? you just switching, like jumping around from one thing to another thing, you never focus on, you never go kind of deep. Like you never cover every single feature because you're jumping around really. So that's why uh, test cases is really like a uh, test of everything. So they cover like really everything because as a human being, imagine, could you, would you able to remember all 1200 test cases? No way. Even probably like 300, <laughs> you would never remember them. Nobody would. So that's why we need to write them down. And that's why uh, we have these test cases. Okay. Um, and um, by the end of the day, yeah, it's, uh, you can measure the quality of the application, which is another cool thing. So how would you measure a quality? Is it good enough or no? You cannot do that with ad hoc testing. It's gonna be very subjective, but with the test cases, um, it can be very objective because if you know uh, it, your test cases cover like the whole application, you can, it's fair to say that you know the quality of your product.